Today's video will be exploring 10 maths that offer the opportunity to visit new, obscure and crazy dimensions. First, we got the Twilight Forest. To build its portal, you need to surround a 4x4 hole with flower and mushrooms. And as a final ritual, throw a diamond on it. Just like that, you will be teleported to a vast forest. This place is obscure and whimsy. On your way, you will encounter various structures filled with empty chests. But be careful, you can also encounter some vicious bosses like the leech over here. It's a skeleton wizard that will not be trivial to defeat. However, this guy is a joke compared to the Naga. This is, in my opinion, the hardest and scariest boss on this mod. It lurks around this infinite maze, so if you happen to fall here by accident, well, good luck. Ad Astra will allow you to teleport to other planets. But first, before we get there, we need to prepare for the trip. First, you'll need a launch pad for the rocket. After that, place a NASA workbench and sort these items on the bench like that. By doing so, we'll be crafting ourselves the essential rocket. Next, we need to place it on the launch pad and gather some oil for it. You can find the oil on the ocean. And obviously, we can't use raw oil, so we need to refine it using the fuel refiner. After it's good to go, just shift and place the fuel on the rocket, as well as an extra lunch pad for the trip back home. We're almost there, but we need a spacesuit with oxygen to survive the space's radiation and the atmosphere. You can extract the oxygen from water, but you literally need to drain an ocean for it. And there you go, finally, we just hop in the rocket and press spacebar to take off. Oh, would you look at this animation? Beautiful. Okay, we're landing. Make sure you guys press spacebar again when landing since you may crash the rocket and die. Oh man, look at this terrain. I love it here. You may also want to craft yourself a rover to be able to travel on the train smoothly. On your cosmetic adventure, you'll come across some new aliens. And this is just one planet, which is the moon. I've sold this map and explored even more planets. The Eater is Minecraft's most nostalgic mod. This mod was so popular to a point where people believe they can build the Eater portrait in vanilla Minecraft. This mod, after years of stagnancy, has recently been updated to Minecraft 1.19.4. The Eater dimension has featured new animals like these winged cows and pigs. There's also this flying whale, and it's my favorite if I gotta be honest. And in your way there, you will come across some big structures that you can enter. Just make sure you are well equipped. There's also some hidden dungeons that I don't recommend entering. All in all, the Eater is an extensive dimension that would provide hours of exploration in Minecraft. Next, we got Elden Ring. Oh, excuse me, I mean Eden Ring. Yeah, without the end. To build in this copper platform, you'll be teleported to a magical dimension. Just make sure you disable your shaders when you arrive since they don't work very well with it. The Eden Ring is a massive galactic world filled with separated small islands that are built with some beautiful new blocks. This dimension will surely be your path to a wide exploration and memorable journey. After that, we got the Better End, a mod that will entirely revamp and decorate this once boring and sad place to a fantastic colorful terrain. These new biomes included new blocks and fresh maps to enliven this dimension even more. This mod unlocks its full graphical potential when mixed with Chocapic 13 shader. Another mod from the same author is Better Nether. This mod will also completely revamp the nether dimension. Although we already got a massive update for it, I don't think it even came close to what this mod has achieved. This mod will enforce the hellish theme of the nether with demonic maps and hanging plants that are terrifying to say the least. Better nether can be used along with the better end mod to make the vanilla dimensions better than ever. Next, we got the blue skies dimension. To access it, you gotta find the gatekeeper's house, trade with him to obtain the necessary items for the travel, and then find the portion upstairs. Light it up with the zeal lighter and make sure you destroy this cobweb. After you enter the portal, you'll be introduced to an unprecedented dimension. This dimension is somewhat not compatible with shaders, so keep that in mind. The blue skies is about a big 
colorful jungle that holds some mystical creatures like we've never seen before. And you don't even have to explore very deep to bump into wonderful structures, like this towering castle for example. Whilst inside, you'll be baffled by how many rooms there are. Go in deep enough and you'll find yourself fighting a boss on creative mood. This motherfucker has hundreds of hearts, and I don't recommend fighting him, unless you got at least 10 people along your side. Next, we got the deeper and darker. This mod makes use of the massive portion of the ancient city. This remove all vines and use the heart of the deep to ignite it. Following that, it will teleport you to a new extension of the deep dark, a dim and scary dimension, but vastly explorative. Making any sound here can get you killed in a few seconds. There are mobs that are just waiting for their next meal. To prevent that from happening, stay quiet or get yourself a new warden armor set and weapons. This equipment will enhance speed and empower you immensely. This is honestly the best way to expand upon the ancient city. Next, we got the Nolski. This mod also enhances the end, but it does it in a normal and natural way. Unlike better end mod, Nolski will brighten up the end with lots of glowing blocks, while preserving the natural vanilla feel through avoiding the addition of any new blocks. This new version of the end looks wonderful, especially if you pair it with the complementary shaders. After that, we get the Bumble Zone. This is by far the easiest dimension to access. All you gotta do is just throw in an enderpearl on the beehive. This mod is incompatible with both sodium and optifine, so save yourself the headache by removing them in advance. The Bumble Zone featured a variety of new structures, all of which of course are made out of honey, since this dimension was introduced to show you what's inside the beehive. There is also new types of bees, some are small, some are very buff, and there is also the queen which you don't wanna annoy. If you wish to only improve the vanilla overworld instead, here is a list of the top animal mods to revive your nature in Minecraft. See ya in the next one.